Welcome to Math Wiz with Dixon, the numbers writer. This video lesson will show you how to determine squares of numbers using mathematical tables. First part is an introduction of how a table of squares look like. In a table of squares, we have the following. On the extreme left hand side, we have x which represents the numbers to be determined. The number, these numbers can either be 1 up to 9.9. .9. After that, we have what we may refer as the body of the table, and the body of the table ranges from 0 all the way to 9, and these are the third decimal places. After that, we have the fourth decimal places, and the fourth decimal place can either be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 9. The second part of the session will involve grouping the numbers to be considered into some categories. These numbers will be the first category is the number between 1.00 or the way to 9.999 these are the numbers we have seen in the table number two is numbers greater than 9.999 and three numbers less than 1.00 after categorizing the numbers let us now see how the squares are determined but it is important to note the following one. For whole numbers, the squares are also whole numbers. We refer to them as perfect squares. And for decimal numbers, their numbers are also, their squares are also decimals. And these are the numbers we are going to determine using our squares tables. Example number one, 1.1. .1. Realize that in this question, we have only two digits. And the table for squares can be used to determine squares for values or, or numbers greater than with more than three digits. Now, in position of the third digit, which is not there, we are going to put a zero. Hence, our new number becomes 1.10. In the table, we go to x. And from X, we go downwards until where we have 1.1. Whereas inside the table, we locate 0. We drop 0 and we go across 1. And where the two of them meet, that is the square of the number in question. Therefore, square of 1.1 .1 is therefore equals to 1.210. Second example, we consider 3.7. Again, just like 1.1, 3.7 has only two digits. The position for the third digit, again, we put a zero. Now we go to our tables. Under X, we locate 3.7. And inside the table, we locate our zero. And where zero and 3.7 are meeting, they are meeting at 13.690. Hence, the square for 3.7 is therefore equal to 13.690. Our third example is 4.12. From x, we locate 4.1. And inside our table, we locate 2, hence we have 0, 1, 2, and 2 corresponds to 16.974, hence that is the square of our number. Our fourth question introduces ourselves now to the fourth figure. In this case, we have 5.462. We shall go to x. And at x, we go downwards until we meet 5.4. Then, in the body, we locate 6. And our value is corresponding to 29.812. 
there is the fourth figure and our fourth figure is a 2. So in the difference column we locate 2 and the 2 corresponds to 22. And we are supposed now to add these values. Now how do we add? We are going to let the digit, the last digit of 29.812 and the last digit of 22 to correspond and then we add them in that order. Hence, our square of 5.462 is equal to 29.834. Next, we determine the square of 3.899. We go to our table. From X, we locate the value 3.8. Inside the body, we go up to where we have a 9. And 3.8 and 9 corresponds to 15.132. That's our first step. Then there is a fourth digit, and the fourth digit is a 9. So we have 1. 2 all the way to 9 and this 9 corresponds to 69. Now how do we add these two? As we had earlier assigned, we let 2 to correspond to 9, 3 corresponds to 6 and we are to get 15.201. We now go to the next category of the numbers greater than 9.99. And our first number is 21.8. To determine the square of 21.8, we have the following two steps. The step number one is we light the number that we have in standard form. Remember, lighting a number in standard form is lighting it in the form A multiplied by 10 to power N, where we give the condition for A, and we say that A is any number between 1.000 and 9.999. Actually, the number that are inside the main table of squares. N is the number of steps moved by the decimal point. Hence, our 21.8, for our A to be satisfied, our decimal point can only move towards the left one step to between 2 and 1, as our number becomes 2.18 times 10 to power 1. Of interest, we, we, we would first of all expand the, uh, the 10 to power n, and once we expand our 10 to power 1, we get simply a 10. Therefore, the value that we have now got, we substituted it back to the position of 21.8 and our new value become 2.18 times 10 to the power 10, everything squared. Now, using the idea that is A multiplied by B, everything to power N is equals to A to power N multiplied by B to power N. Therefore, our new value become 2.180 square multiplied by 10 square. For 10 square, we can multiply that one directly. Whereas for 2.1, we read it from the table and we get 4.752. Then we multiply the two numbers and our product become 475.2, which is now the square of 21.8. Another example under this category is 38,990, we find it is square. The first thing as we had earlier learned is we light the number in standard form and the decimal point is after zero and we shall move it up to between three and nine, hence our new number become 3.8999 multiplied by 10 to the power four. Uh, as we had earlier learned, the first step we'll do is we expand 10 to power 4 and 10 to power 4 will give us 10,000. Next, we take the number that we have got, we substitute it now to the initial position of 38,990. 
and hence our number become 3.899 times 10, times <coughs> 10,000. As we had earlier done, yes, notice that A, B, everything to N is equal to A to N multiplied by B to N. So therefore our new number become 3.899 square multiplied by 10,000 square. And the first number we read from the table and we are going to get 15.201. Whereas the second number we expand now directly and we multiply the two. Hence, we get the square for 38,990. Now our last category is numbers less than 1.00. We are going to consider our first number as 0 0.00243 square. First step we'll do is write the number in its standard form. And as we had earlier learned, the decimal point will move one, two, three, three steps. And our number becomes 2.43 times 10 to power minus 1. Remember the idea, 10 to power minus n is therefore equals to 1 over 10 to power n. So therefore our number becomes 2.43 times 1 over 1000. This number that we have got, we substitute it into the position of 0 0.00243 and once we substitute it, we are going to get our number is into brackets 2.43 times 10 times 1 over 1000 everything square. And remember as I earlier learned that is A multiplied by B everything to N is equal to A N multiplied by B N. Therefore our value can be separated as follows 2.43 square multiplied by 1 over 1000 square. And the first value we read it from the table and we get 5.905. .05. The second value we multiply it directly hence our final value becomes 0 0.00005905. Remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can get future lessons that we are going to be preparing. Thank you for your watching.